stumbled upon a post in Vancouversen about new immigrants in the olden days. The Vancouver Special is a design of home that ended up being iconic and cherished in Vancouver, known for its mid-century contemporary design and price. Many were built in the 1960s, 80s and functioned as starter homes for new immigrants to the location. The post tells the story of a household who lived in a Vancouver Special for generations, and how they went back to look after their aging parents. It also goes over an art show that admires working-class immigrants who resided in Vancouver Specials, highlighting the struggles and survival of these neighborhoods. The text talks about the experiences of Chinese immigrants in East Vancouver throughout the 1970s through the 90s. It highlights the discrimination and difficulties faced by immigrants due to language barriers and low-paying tasks. It also discusses the accomplishment of own a home after years of struggle. The short article also touches on the memories of living in a Vancouver special, a kind of housing popular among immigrants, and the current high expense of property in Vancouver. Vancouver is an expensive city to reside in, and many people rely on rental income to manage single-family homes. Vancouver specials, with their big lots, are popular for their rental capacity. Gentrification has led to changes in the city's housing landscape, but some families still focus on multi-generational living. The Chong family has a basement suite and prepare for their parents to cope with them, reflecting their cultural values. Your house holds nostalgic worth for them, as it advises them of their late parents.